All right, dude, so I'm back with another video, and this one, I'm going to share my experience with this cereal, man. So as you can see, I got myself this Pokemon cereal, right? Cool. But let me just tell you guys the backstory of how I found out about these and what the heck happened at that store. So check it. So as it turns out, a buddy of mine a couple of, like, man, maybe about a week ago, told me, like, hey, man, you hear about that new Pokemon craze? And I'm like, what, that one with McDonald's? And he's like, yeah, did you know you can get one of those holographic Pikachu ones for free? And I was like, free, you say? Whoa, where are this at? And he's like, man, you can get it from a cereal. Get your, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and right there, you can get a free card. Cool. And I'm like, yeah, man, but I don't really eat cereal much, so, hey, you know, if I see it around, though, I'll pick it up. So, a couple of days after that, I go to the store, pick up my groceries, and I'm like, all right, you know what? I do kind of crave some, uh, I'm kind of craving some uh, Reese's Puffs. And I was like, let's check that cereal, cereal aisle out. Now, this store that I went to does not have that many newer cereals per se. Like, they wouldn't have this, uh, you know, kind of uh, thing going on with this whole Pokemon thing. Because they never get, you know, uh, many new things like that. But anyway, I end up looking towards it, and I see Pikachu on a cereal box. And I'm like, cool, you know what? I'm like, eh, whatever, I could, I could eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Let's do it. Let's grab it. I grab one of the boxes, right? The top is ripped open and I'm not talking like someone opened it up slow I'm talking about someone like went out ripped the heck out of it and took out the cards and headed out with them right and I'm like all right one box that sucks I take I take that box and put it up to the side and I'm like all right cool let's grab the next one hopefully you know that everything goes well I grab the next one that thing is ripped up open too and I'm like, okay, this dude obviously wanted those cards badly enough to get himself a second pack. Why the hell not, right? I start looking in through through that whole thing. Five boxes later, I'm like, okay, this dude has ripped enough boxes, man. What the hell? Like, how many how many boxes did this did this did this guy? Sorry about the stutter. How many boxes did this guy rip through, man? And I start looking through, and I'm like, dude, that's way too many boxes to be ripping through. I'm like, dude, if you're gonna look fat. I'm like, if you're gonna if you're gonna look like a like a desperate douchebag, you could buy the cereal and literally take that home with you and rip off those boxes like that at home. I'm like, how desperate do you have to be to go to an aisle at a store, rip open that box, all of them, and take out all the cards and just head out like that? Like, dude. And even worse, I get that these make some money online. I get it. I mean, even I wanna make some money online, right? But I'm like, dude, at least I'll buy the cereal, you know? Because, I mean, imagine, I just imagine, like, the worst case scenario. There's a dad that's like, hey, you know what? I got to get these for my son. Well, well, the box is ripped open, but, hey, maybe the cards are inside the little bag with the cereal inside it. And then his son's just like, dad, where are the cards? Huh. I, I don't know, son. I guess some big, gigantic-ass man went over there to the aisle, ripped up every single box, and took all the cards. I'm like, dude, you're a grown-ass man. Grown-ass man, at least. At least buy the cereal. Complete, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you rip it up and put it back like that? Like, bro, this is marketed towards children. I mean, just... I mean, I get that it's hard to resist stuff like this, I guess, for some people. But I'm like, I'm like, bro, don't go that kind of way about it, being all douchey. But anyway... I managed to get to the last box in the back, uh, in the back, uh, all the way out, all the way in the back of it, and I take it out, and luckily this one was complete, as you can see, the top is not ripped, and all that, but all the other boxes, dude, they look like they got torn up. I'm saying like they got messed up, bro, and that's just messed up as hell, but. For a moment, I was like, dude, there was a security guard in the front of that aisle. How did you not hear some dude just ripping through those boxes, man? Tearing apart paper by paper, box by box. I mean, damn. I wish I would have had my phone with me at the time to record the boxes while they were being ripped. But maybe, maybe I'll get to see that next time. So anyway, I just wanted to see that say that real quick. Like, just tell you guys, like, where have we gone as a society where cards marketed for children are the reason that we go to an aisle rip open boxes it just reminds me of that rick and morty szechuan sauce thing from a couple of uh, years uh, like a year ago or two where we tried to get some packets of that 
But for me, I, I didn't really care much. But, you know, we still went just to check it out. And then I started hearing how crazy that craze went. And people were giving away their cars for to people with those packets. They were giving about, about 600 bucks for a little packet of sauce. Same with this, man. Imagine how much this cereal is going to be worth once this craze goes even crazier than it is now, man. So I'm thinking about it. I'm like, do I open the box or do I leave it closed, man? Do I leave you closed? That and also look at that little Pikachu. What's up? Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's how it is, man. That's how this whole thing happened. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.